Hi everybody, this is the one, and here's my overdue, very late, how to install MAME to your Wii video. Just to let everybody know, I'm 31 years old, married, and has a stepson. So I really don't have time to make videos all the time, so sorry about being late, but I do have a life. So let's get started with the video. Okay, the first part you'll notice, for the MAME to work perfectly on your Wii, you need to have at least two different MAME folders. There's the MAME folders that's inside your apps that's on your SD card. This MAME folder have your, has your, your basic ingredients, the boot elf, the icon and the meta. Inside the main directory of your Wii folder where apps is located at, there's another main folder. Inside this folder there are four separate folders and a main configuration settings tech file. For some reason, when you download main from several sites, it, the your, the download doesn't come with these doesn't come with this folder. And I think and I think that's the main problem with some people trying to install main on your Wii. So you got to make sure you have this folder. Besides that folder, there's the main ROM folder where you keep you know your your ROMs. Please do not extract them. Keep them in their zip file format. As you can see, I have several main files. A majority of them work. Finally, also, loca also located in the apps or well, the directory area, there's the main SFS file. Very important. Please make sure you have all four of these already in your SD card. The main F SFS file, your main ROM folders, where you keep your mains, ROMs, your second main folder that has the four of the folders inside, and finally, inside your apps, your regular main folder that has the boot elf, the icon, and the meta. Okay, so now we're at the point where we're going to try to main on our Wii. Here's the SD card. Oh yeah guys, I am black. Please don't hate. But if you want to hate on me, Hit on me for this reason. My Japanese Wii, my American Wii, my PS3, and my homebrew Wii. Nothing but homebrew. So yeah, I'm ballin'. The SD card is in. Please make sure that your Wii Connect 24 is turned off. Very important. Your main will freeze up if you have this on. As you can see, mine's off. So now we go into the very nice homebrew channel. Mm -hmm. Make sure your GameCube controller is turned on because right now the GameCube controller is the only controller that works with main. So make sure it's turned on right now.
before I go into the main. Load it up. You'll see all this, you know, computer tech gibberish. Giving props to the guys who have created much much respect and love to the homebrew community. They'll load first and then initialize for a second. Well, not a second, but for a little bit. There you go. That's the main page. On my GameCube controller, I move up and down. Let's try to play something pretty cool. Something I really think everybody will think is awesome. Let's play that. The main right now still has problems playing certain games. Games like Mortal Kombat, and uh, NBA Jam, Hang Time, have uh, graphic glitches. But most of your basic 2D sprite games, they'll work, no problem. But remember, the bigger the file, the longer it takes to load. As you can see, that was pretty fast. Now I have to, now I have to initialize. And also decode a little bit because this file is bigger than the normal ones. And once it starts, you will see why. Alrighty, you get to this point, press A on your GameCube controller, and you're home free. Hey look, it's Kimbo. Damn shame. Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.